welcome to the 100 Acre Wood Rally in Salem, Missouri. This rally is round two of the 2012 Rally America National Championship. My name is Matthew Johnson. I'll be traveling with you around the country to cover all of the action this year. So here at the 100 Acre Wood Rally, drivers are really able to open it up, start having a lot of fun with the race cars and go really fast. In fact, it's probably the fastest event in our championship. This event started in 1977 and ran for seven years. And actually the first four years, John Buffum won every year. Now John Buffum here, 30 plus years later, can still be found in the pits working on cars and running the team of Antoine Lestage and Natalie Richard in their rock star Mitsubishi Evolution. Uh, I think it's great that you still see John Buffum here contributing to the sport after being part of it at the very beginning and here we are in 2012. So here at Technical Inspection, um, all the cars are going to come through here and see the technical stewards. There's two main things they're looking for. They want to make sure the cars are safe and have all the modern safety equipment attached and present and each driver has the right qualification of helmet and Hans device and such. And then the second thing they're looking for is to make sure the car fits within the rules of the class that the team wants to compete in. So for instance, the open class cars, they're our fastest class of cars. We'll check to make sure the restrictor is properly sized at 34 millimeter. We'll also check to make sure the car meets the minimum weight standards and is, has some other rules to fit. Then the two-wheel drive cars, there's not quite as many rules for those, but they'll look to make sure they're running the right fuel and have the right uh, wheel size, maybe weight as well, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, hi, my name is Brandon, and we're here at the uh, 100 Acre Woods Rally, and uh, behind me I have uh, David Higgins' rally car, and we're in what they call uh, tech inspection, or scrutineering. And then what they do is they go through the car and they check out the safety equipment and make sure the car is safe for the, to run down the roads. It's a pretty high speed rally and everything's got to be pretty neat and tidy. They'll check the dates on the driver's suits and the belts and the fire systems and just have a general good look at the car and pretty much make sure all the competitors are safe to travel at a high rate of speed through the woods. It's a pretty dangerous sport and we like to keep everybody as honest and as safe as we can. Yeah, I'm really stoked to be back here. This is one of my favorite rallies in the U.S. Uh, Rally America Championship. Um, been very lucky here in the past. Uh, this is actually the location of my first national rally win. And actually when I started with Ford, it was the location of the first win for the Ford Fiesta. So, a uh, special place for me and I'm really happy to be back here and try and get my sixth win. first stage we had a good time, I thought, but Ken was really fast. Our, our time was just a few tenths uh, behind David. Well, the stage is the important one for us because obviously he's our championship rival, Ken's only doing two events, but in the same time you still want to go as quick as you can go. But they seem to have a fair bit of a speed advantage in us on the high speed stages um, at the moment, but we're just, we're just, it's a long way to go and you know he's had some spins and some lucky escapes already, so we've got to do what we can do now to keep going.
think we're burning the candle on both ends yet, but uh, I guess we might have to because Lachlan's giving us a pretty good run for our money right now. So, yeah, um, I don't know. We put new tires on. I went out on a used set just to kind of to get used to gravel in general and sliding the car going, you know, 90 miles an hour instead of like nine at Snowdrift, you know, so. Uh, no idea. I know we lost a good 25, 30 seconds to Hansen, and he's usually a good marker to go off in SP class. Um, and we lost, we lost, because we thought we lost our whole brakes and we had none for a while until they, uh, they came back on. Uh, we, we thought we lost a lot more time to him, but we only lost 25, 30 seconds. And we beat him by one second on the next stage and beat him by like five seconds on the next stage. So it's a good 20 seconds now we're behind him. And uh, it always seems like we have to come from behind in these events. It's never a clean rally for us, but here we go. Uh, the biggest problem we're fighting right now is overheating the brakes, so uh, I had to go really easy on the brakes through all those stages. Uh, the good thing is that the top three of us are all covered by 20 seconds, I think, or 21 seconds. So we know that uh, we can we can claw back, certainly second place, we're in third of that group. We can claw back, we reckon, second place, and uh, uh, we've just made some changes to the brakes that hopefully will keep them cooler. Uh, and then. Um, uh, it's, it's just a great battle. It's just a great battle. Now, when I was talking to ACP, he says, well, I, I feel like I'm going to come claw back second place. Now, I think you're in second place right now. What well, do you say to that? Well, I think that ACP can have second place. We're going for first. Yeah. So uh, hopefully ACP will be in second and we'll be ahead of him. So <laughs> that, that works fine for me. Yeah, we're all pretty even, actually. I mean, I think the times show it. We're pretty, pretty even in this class. So it should make for some great battles all year. So we're going to wait till sweep goes by and they clear the stage and then we're just going to turn around, head back to service and uh, we're going to um, hopefully get the guys to take a look at the car and hopefully it's not a complete engine issue. And we will uh, unfortunately give up for today and then we'll start for the regional again tomorrow. It was going so well, and then halfway through the first stage, uh, one of the big boys pulled a big rock out. It's a massive. I bet you all know which big boy it was. I think so too. Because he always pulls rocks out. Because there's four I've guys. There's four guys that didn't see it, and there's and there's four guys that did. And we know who was in the middle of all that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, we saw it way too late and went straight over it. And just. It, it uh, rumpled our exhaust up a bit, and so we lost a lot of power. Not going to be able to fix that until tonight. I heard uh, from other competitors you're pulling out some rocks. Uh, I don't know if that's actually me. I've been actually uh, pretty clean on the road, staying in the middle of the road. Uh, I haven't really had to push too hard yet. I, I, I put in a good time on the first stage today. I wanted to push pretty hard on because I really liked the stage. Uh, and ended up beating these guys by something over 20 seconds but unfortunately I beat the threshold of the top speed of the stage and I put in all that effort to go that fast actually ended up losing uh, seconds because there's a maximum number of there's a maximum time you can get to and I got under that time so anyway it's uh it's been fun though I, I'm looking forward to tonight's stages and tomorrow's stages are actually very good so uh, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the rally